I'll uh, turn it over to Adam, who's joined us. Uh, Adam, if you can hit your demute button, if that's such a word, and then I'll also <laughs> the, the, the little red thingy over there and, and join the New Orleans media. There you go. Welcome to New Orleans. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm excited. Uh, just we'll begin by where are you right now and uh, your thoughts on being drafted by the Saints? Yeah, I'm actually in Dayton, Ohio right now. Um, just like I'd planned to be throughout this process, obviously even before the coronavirus hit. Um, but I'm super excited to be a part of the New Orleans Saints uh, organization and super excited to, you know, get my foot in the building eventually and, and get to work. Hey, Adam, how much contact did you have with the Saints kind of leading up to tonight's selection? Um, honestly, not as much. Um, I, I didn't have too much. Uh, I knew they were interested in me and and liked me as a player and person and everything like that, but I didn't have too much coming into it. Adam, um, I imagine it's got to be. Did you have any idea how high that interest was, Adam? You said you knew they were interested in you, but did you have any idea how intense that interest was? Um, no, not really, honestly. Um, I mean, I talked to my agent about it. Obviously, going through every single team in the in the league, and yeah, he did mention that the interest from the Saints was was high, but uh, nothing like super super high or out of this world or anything like that that I knew of. What Adam, I, 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 I imagine it's got to be a little flattering to know that a team gave up four draft picks to move up to get you. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually didn't even know that until now. So, um, I mean, I just got the call. I didn't see the trade information or anything like that. But, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a good thing. Now, am I right in saying that you didn't ever catch a pass until getting to college? Yes, 100% correct. Never played another position either other than quarterback until about 10 days into my freshman year at Dayton. So do you feel like you're, you're kind of just scratching the surface on, on your potential and that, you know, the sky's the limit kind of from where you are right now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm polished in, in several areas as it is, but I definitely have a very, very high ceiling and have a lot of room to grow and a lot of potential. And did you play basketball in high school? I did, yes, all four years. And, and how has that translated to football and, and helped you, you know, as a, as a pass catcher? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously rebounding. I was one of the bigger kids on my team, especially being from a smaller high school and just learning how to use your body and, and high point the ball and then um, couple that with the, you know, short area agility and everything, which ties into your routes and getting separation at the top and all that. So it definitely helped out. Adam, what do you know about the guys that the Saints have playing tight end now and how they use the position in the offense? Yeah, um, just from what I know, Obviously, I've seen uh, they obviously use a move guy a lot, Jared Cook, and then um, they do have True Wise and all that on the roster. So um, they do. I mean, they do it all from what I've seen on on film. They they use tight ends in every single way you can imagine on the field. Who are some of the guys that you've modeled your game after, especially since you haven't played the position for you know a super long time? Yeah, um, definitely recently. Uh, over the past two years, George Kittle, just starting from how hard he plays. And, and I emulate that in my game, I believe. And um, just how hard he goes after people, it's, it's amazing to watch. And I love it. Same with TJ Hawkinson. I mean, they're pretty much – I mean, they're obviously not the same level of player yet, but TJ Hawkinson has a lot in his game, and I just try to emulate uh, that style of play. So, so are you just, like, studying the Saints? It seems like you, you kind of know how they operate already. Yeah, I mean, I'm – to be honest, I'm a pretty big football junkie, so I watch a lot of film on a lot of teams' pre-draft process just to kind of, like, match it up with my college offense and see, you know, just read coverages and count, and count it out and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've probably watched, like, 25 of the teams, so the Saints was definitely one of them that I did watch. So, yes. And, and when you were watching them, like, how, how did you see yourself fitting in with, with what they already do? Yeah, I mean, I think I can do um, anything you ask of a – of a tight end, I do think I'm more of a traditional, you know, why I put my hand in the dirt, but that's not for me to decide or anything like that, obviously. Um, but, I mean, I think I can do it all on, on the field as a tight end. It, you, brought up, uh, you brought up Kittle, uh, and I, I'm, I'm assuming that includes his blocking game. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, Sean said he liked uh, your ability to block. Is that something you had to put a lot of effort into, just considering what positions you played uh, coming up? 
Yeah, absolutely. Especially playing quarterback, you never really, you know, get physical or touch anyone. So um, it was kind of like a mindset switch I had to have when I switched the position my, my true freshman year. And I just continued to develop that and then couple that mentality and that mindset with my uh, technique that I'm continuously learning. And I have a lot of room to grow in that as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely pride myself on it. I took huge leaps and bounds over the last three years. Adam, what was the night sort of like for you? I mean, it's pretty late up there and well, it's late here too, but I mean, just sort of waiting until the very end of this round. What was that process like when you got the phone? Yeah, no, I mean, it was kind of stressful, obviously, going through it all. And, um, you know, obviously just with conversations with my agent, like maybe this team will take you. And then it's like, oh, no, they don't. And then it just keeps going on and on and on. Um, but I was super excited when I obviously saw a number pop up on my phone from Louisiana and I was super excited and um, glad I got that call, obviously, from the Saints. The Saints have a history of, you know, either drafting or picking up small school guys, FCS, D2, D3, you name it, mm -hmm. uh, for a long time. Are you familiar uh, with that or is that kind of news to you? That's actually news to me. No, I didn't know the history of, of the selections and free agency and all that. All right, cool. Who, who was the last player to come out of Dayton uh, to get drafted? Ooh, uh, 1977. Um, in the 11th round, I know that. Uh, so you know something history, yeah, it's, this is good. I, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I always forget the name because there's like two names that get jumbled because the one that like actually played in the game and then one that one that didn't. I think the last the guy's last name was West Westfeld, maybe something like that. So I do I do know. Yeah, yeah Bill, last time. Bill Westfeld. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's him. I I mean, how, how cool is that? Uh, just you know, you're talking about in you know, more than 40 years here uh, mm -hmm. since your school's had a player drafted and you're you're going in the third round to. Uh, yeah, pretty good football team. Yeah. I mean, it means the world to me. And um, I wouldn't change a thing about where I went to school. I tell people that all the time. You know, if they ask me, why didn't I grand transfer or do this or or that? Um, I'm, I mean, I, I don't really care. You know, I, I, I love where I went to school. And um, I take a lot of pride in it. And um, it's awesome. You know, I get all the, you know, texts and my teammates and, just the bond I built with them, it's, it's super special to me. Adam, where did your mother play college basketball? Uh, she played at Albion College in, in Michigan, a small D3 school. And who played who played basketball at in Indiana or football? Do you have a, a – Yeah, relative? yeah, my, my uncle actually, so my mom's brother, so on the same side of the family, he played linebacker at Indiana. Um, he was a preferred walk-on. Does anybody else have anything for Adam this evening before we say good night? Yeah, uh, one, one quick question on my end. When, when you were, when you were, uh, you know, going into your senior year of high school, even getting ready to go to Dayton, I, I mean, not a ton of offers on your end. And could you have imagined then, at that point, that you'd be talking about uh, you know, being a NFL draft pick at tight end of all places? No, no. i will be honest. Like, no, I didn't think. Honestly, going to college, I didn't really think I would play another position. Um, and then once I switched positions, I didn't think that it could get to this point, you know, where you get drafted on day two and all that. Um, but I knew the work I put in, you know, made that – helped to make that a realistic um, a realistic thing in my life. And, you know, uh, I couldn't imagine it at the beginning, but I'm glad it's here obviously now. You were – were you offered by Harvard coming out? Yeah, yeah, just uh, Cornell, Harvard, and Dayton. So are you like a 4.0 GPA guy? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm pretty, I like, I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm pretty smart. Like I did good in high school and obviously I did very well here at Dayton. I graduated my electrical engineering degree from here as well. So I'm um, not a 4.0 student, but um, I take my academics very seriously. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. 4.0 in engineering of any type sounds really hard. So, yeah. <laughs> no yeah engineering engineering was definitely definitely tough but manageable for sure adam thank you so much for your time we really appreciate it and we're going to be in touch with you tomorrow uh, for some other things but uh again last call for adam here does anybody have anything
Oh, thanks, Adam. We appreciate it. Congratulations. Thanks, Adam. Thank awesome. You. Thank, Thank you. Man. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Good luck, man. Thank you.